The return of squad builders, that is right, two to three months ago I did do like a mini little series on my channel where we did some funny little entertaining squad builders and for the last couple of weeks now you guys have been asking for these to return so today this idea was actually given to me by my housemate so uh, yeah shout out to Sean as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail we are actually going to be building a squad as to what I think is going to be the starting lineup for the England national team at the Russian 2018 World Cup in three years time. Now, as we go through this squad, I did have very hard decisions to make as to some of the players. As you know, England have some absolutely amazing young talent coming through in the football, and I can only pick 11 players to show in this video. So that doesn't mean if I don't show a player in this video that I don't think they're going to be playing for England in three years time. They will be. I had to pick 11 players. Obviously, some players aren't going to get into this video. That doesn't mean I don't rate them. I don't think they'll be in the England team in three years time. It is just simply, I have to pick 11 players. Some players are going to get dropped. I know some of you guys are going to think differently to what I do, and I know you guys are going to have different starting lineups to what I have. I ask you to politely respect the. I know a lot of the time when YouTubers do these kind of videos, you get those few comments that are like, you fucking retard, he would clearly be the right back. So just like, this is what I think, I'm telling you, I'm asking you guys. What do you think is going to be your England starting lineup in three years' time? You know what to do. Leave it in the comments. I'm going to go through every single comment and just get a general idea of what you guys think the team will look like in three years' time at the World Cup. If you do enjoy this video, smash that like button. 2,000 likes would be absolutely insane. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump straight into the squad. So in goal then, we've got Butland. He'll be 25 years old when the World Cup comes around. He already has an England senior debut underneath his belt, which is absolutely awesome considering Considering, like a lot of people at the minute, for some reason, consider Joe Hart to be like the only decent English goalkeeper, which personally I don't agree with at all. I think in three years' time it will be time for Butland to be able to prove himself and be able to take that number one spot as the England goalkeeper. I believe Hart will be around like 30 years old uh, in three years' time. So, yeah, Butland. He would be my number one choice for the World Cup in three years' time. Luke Shaw, then, is our left-back in this squad. He will only be 22 years old in three years' time. That is ridiculous. He is so young and so good. There's a reason he smashed it for Southampton last season. There's a reason he transferred for a stupid price tag to one of the biggest football clubs in the world, Manchester United. That probably sounds a little bit biased considering I'm a Manchester United fan, but I'm sure you guys will agree. Uh, there aren't really too many options for left back. You've got Gibbs. He's already 26, so he'll be getting quite old in three years' time. You've got like Bertrand. Again, he'll be quite old. Leighton Baines. Dare I say Cole, he wasn't even in the uh, World Cup squad last summer. But yeah, sure, he's in the squad. John Stones is our first centre-back in this squad. He will be 23 years old by the time the World Cup comes around. Don't really want to say too much about him because I'm not an Everton fan. I haven't really seen too much from him. One player I've seen a lot from, though, is Phil Jones, and he will be 26 years old in three years' time, and that will make him one of the oldest and one of the most experienced players that will be in the squad once we have completed it. He, Now, I would like to say he's an amazing centre-back. He's not. Sometimes he's a bit of a liability for Manchester United. Sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I panic when he gets on the ball. But in three years' time, I have, I've, got the fa I've got the faith in him. I believe... He will pull through and he'll be amazing in three years' time. And yeah, as I said, he will actually be one of the uh, most experienced and oldest players in this squad. And uh, that does complete our centre-backs, Stones and Phil Jones. Kind of like, kind of like rhymed a little bit, that one. Right back then, we have Callum Chambers, fairly recently transferred to Arsenal. He'll be 23 years old. Right back is that spot for England, which just like, kind of... I don't know. There's like Carl Walker, he's always injured or either playing shit. Michael Richards, I always love Michael Richards. He was never really given a uh, chance. Uh, well, that's a bit unfair. He was given a chance, but he didn't really do much for England. Obviously, now he's in Florentina, and uh, I was reading an interview. He doesn't believe he'll ever be recalled for England again. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is, I have chosen Callum Chambers to be our right back for this squad. He'll be 23 years old. You know, he's getting some good playtime at Arsenal since he transferred there. 
And yeah, just like the rest of this defence, I honestly think in three years' time, they will all be solid. Absolutely solid. Firstly in the midfield then, we have Jack Wilshere. He'll be 26 when it comes around to the World Cup. So just like Phil Jones in the defence, he will be one of the most experienced players I don't really need to explain too much as to why he's in the squad. He's an amazing midfielder. He's very, very young. Injuries always do pop up for him at Arsenal, but when he does play, he is absolutely outstanding. Next then, we do have the one and only Ross Barkley. He will be 24 by the time the World Cup comes around. Again, he has scored some amazing goals for Everton. Uh, a lot of people we think he's going to be absolutely insane in the future for England. He's going to be one of England's best midfielders. That's probably a very bold and brave statement to make considering he's so young and he's got uh, a lot of proving to do for um, England. He did he did play at the World Cup. He was in the World Cup squad. He did go to Brazil, um, which is absolutely awesome. And I think in three years' time, just like every player that I've mentioned so far in this uh, squad, they're going to be amazing in three years' time. Finally then, to complete it, it's probably the most obvious choice there is. It is Jordan Henderson. He'll be 27. That does make him the oldest in this squad, along with uh, Wilshire, who's 26 in three years' time, and uh, Phil Jones. Henderson has had an absolutely amazing season for Liverpool this season. It's two seasons in one se uh, sentence, how awesome is that? And uh, yeah, in three years' time, I honestly think he's gonna be so, so good. And that kills me to say, because I hate Liverpool. Starting that attack then, I've gone with Raheem Sterling as the number, that, well, the first attacker we're going to be looking at. He's going to be playing on the left. He'll be 23 years old. And again, he's another one of those Liverpool players which are absolutely ridiculously good, and it kills me to say that. But I don't think Sterling is going to be uh, staying around at Liverpool for too much longer. He's refusing to sign a new contract until the end of the season, I believe. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I think that that's true. Otherwise, I'm just completely chatting out my ass. Next then, we have Oxlade Chamberlain. Again, just like Sterling, he's so young and he's so good already. He can only get better in three years' time. So he's going to be playing on the right. And then finally, this was a hard one to go with. I've gone with... I had to choose one striker for this formation. I was umming and about Welbeck or Harry Kane. I've gone with Harry Kane simply because he's, a, uh, he's younger. He'll be 24 and honestly, if he keeps up the form he has done for Tottenham this season, in three years' time, holy shit. He will be absolutely insane. If this is just like a taster of what he's got in store and for like the next five years, what he's shown us whilst at uh, Spurs this season, honestly, I can't even get my head round as to how good he will be in three years' time. But anyway, that is the starting 11 as to what I think the England team will look like at the World Cup in three years' time. We're now going to jump into a quick little game online. We'll see how this squad fares. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can pick ourselves up a win. Right, we're taking the few... Look how fat that manager is. Oh God, he's got Ibrahimovic up front. Our defense is in for a treat, trying to contain Ibrahimovic. Stones and Jones, how well can they do? And I can hear the, I can hear the guy speaking, so... Uh, He's picked up on the fact I've built the future England squad. That is absolutely awesome. Anyway, let's get into the squad. The squad? We've already done the squad. What, am I drunk? Let's get into the game. Look at that. Jones. And we've just given the ball away. Jones won the ball brilliantly. Oh, boy. What the hell has happened there? I don't know what's happened there. The game's disconnected whilst we were both playing, so unless his internet cut out, mine definitely hasn't because I'm still on Skype. Anyway, let's just jump into another game. Right, okay then, the second at time lucky is the team name is called Cheat. And he's got a he's got a pretty good team. He hasn't got a an amazing team. At least he hasn't got Ibrahimovic. He's got Lam in the midfield there. He's got Boateng, upgraded Boateng actually at the uh, defence. He's got um, whatever it is, Blachikowski at the right wing. Nothing compared to Oxlade Chamberlain. Let's get into the game. Oh, Chamberlain's made a brilliant run and he's just been absolutely bullied by Boateng. That was an amazing run, but he just got, he just got bitched. Oh, Henderson, Hendo! Ref, no, nothing. Okay, brilliant. Oh, my players are making nice runs. I don't think either of us 
I've actually had a shot yet, but we're making good runs, so there's there's a plus side. Go on! Yes! We've taken the lead! Was that Wilshire that buried that? I think that was Jack Wilshire. He made a brilliant run. He got the ball caught underneath his feet, and I was actually fortunate enough to pick the ball back up. I was actually a tackle that was given back to me. It was Jack Wilshire on his left foot, finessed it, posted in. We've taken the lead in the 23rd minute, and actually, that was our first major chance. Butland has just made, like, the best save ever. That was a banging free kick. Top court, doesn't even show the save. That was a brilliant save. Defend the corner, please. Oh my god, Butland, I didn't ask for you to come out there, but... Oh, look at that! Triple tap! That was a triple tap! Oh my god! Kane, with a, kind of like a dipping header, got denied. Wilshire, put another ball in. Butland, I don't know why you think you're taking the uh, corners here. Crowd the keeper, because that worked well for us last corner. Wait for them to crowd the keeper. That's a good ball. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Just get it out, you fucking not jockey! <laughs> I'm absolutely shitting on my position, and I honestly just heard him shout, just get rid of it, you knob jockeys. I honestly heard him shout that down the mic. He can't seem to defend this crowd, the goalkeeper, so if I can keep on doing that, surely hit it. I can hear him raging, I can hear him... Kane, what are you doing? You're meant to be called, like, the hurricane, and you, you can't even... Pass it. Beautiful. No! What are you doing, Chamberlain? You could have given us. That was such a nice ping across the whole defence and over to Chamberlain. Look at that. It's half time. We're 1 0 up. Our opposition still hasn't had a shot on target, even though we had to make the save from that free kick. So I'm pretty sure he has had a shot on target. But anyway, look at that. We've had eight shots with an 87% shot accuracy. We need more goals, we need more goals. It's Kane, it's Kane, it's Kane! Oh Kane, what are you doing? How can you not finish that? I thought I'd actually successfully gone around the keeper and he, oh, I'm not, I'm not calling you the hurricane anymore. You're not worthy of it until you score. Yes, boys! Oh my days, how, they, they've got finishing to do, work on, that's what they've got, that is what this England team has got to work on, that defending was sublime. They just hit it, rebound, oh my god, what was that from Chamberlain, he has missed some sitters this game, and we are absolutely pounding my opposition, but we're not scoring, we're not scoring any of the chances we're getting, oh my god, it's a beautiful ball, it's a beautiful, what are you doing, Kane? All right, it, my finishing is shocking. My finishing is actually shocking. It's an open goal. I didn't even realize, I didn't even realize it was an open goal. My finish in this game has been so, so bad. And my opposition has been screaming his head off all game. If I could count the amount of times I've heard him scream knob jockey, I would, but there was too many. It was absolutely way too many. And there he goes, he's rage quit. See you later. Anyway guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then please do smash that like button. Let me know in the comments, what is your England starting lineup for the World Cup in three years time in 2018? And as well as that, please do give me more kind of squads you would like to see me build. Doesn't have to be anything to do with the World Cup. That was just what this episode was about. If it can be funny things, it can be haircuts, it can be age, it can be literally anything. Let me know in the comments. I will get those made for you. Smash that like button. 2,000 likes. I don't know why I'm showing four. 2,000 likes would be absolutely awesome. And until my next one, I'll be speaking to you guys later. Take care.